Ever wondered how binary star systems are formed? Picture a dance of celestial bodies, two stars locked in a gravitational tango, orbiting each other in the vast expanse of the cosmos. This is the spectacle of a binary star system. But first, let's take a step back. Stars, as we know, are born from vast clouds of dust and gas. Over time, gravity pulls these elements together, and when the pressure and temperature are just right, a star is born. But the universe loves variety, and so not all stars dance solo. Many are part of a cosmic duo or even larger groups, especially here in our home galaxy, the Milky Way. These are binary stars, two stars orbiting a common center of mass. Like cosmic siblings, they are born together from the same cloud of gas and dust, bound together by the invisible tether of gravity, sharing their stellar lives side by side. But how do we know all this about binary star systems? Let's dive into a recent discovery that shed some light on this. To understand how we learn about stars, let's talk about the James Webb Space Telescope. The JWST is more than just a piece of sophisticated machinery floating in space. It's our eyes, our ears, and our best bet at unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos. This marvel of technology has the ability to scrutinize the infrared light emitted by excited molecules in gas clouds. This is how it captures intricate details that are impossible to see with the naked eye or even less advanced telescopes. The JWST's unique capabilities allow us to witness the birth and evolution of stars, galaxies, and even entire solar systems. It peers into the farthest corners of the universe, capturing images and collecting data that help us understand our place in the cosmos. But the JWST is not just about collecting pretty pictures. It's a key player in space exploration and star discovery. It helps us unravel the secrets of the universe, one cosmic object at a time, and just recently, the JWST played a crucial role in a significant discovery. Enter the Herbig-Haro Object 797, or HH 797 for short. Now, what is a Herbig-Haro Object, you ask? It's a radiant patch of nebulosity linked with newborn protostars. Picture this. Twin jets of ionized gas shooting out from a star, creating shocks on the star's surface. That's what we're talking about. These objects are like cosmic toddlers, fresh and energetic, common in regions where stars are forming. Now let's delve a bit deeper into the specifics of HH 797. This particular object is not your run-of-the-mill celestial body. It's got some unique features that have set the scientific community buzzing. Its twin jets of ionized gas are not just for show. They generate shocks on the star's surface, making it a spectacle to behold, even from light years away. But the real showstopper is its ability to change. You see, herbig Haro objects like HH-797 aren't static. They can be seen visibly changing as they journey away from their source into the vast expanse of the interstellar medium. It's like watching a celestial butterfly emerging from its cocoon, spreading its wings and soaring into the cosmos. Within the gas clouds of HH-797, there's a cocktail of molecular hydrogen, carbon monoxide, iron, methane, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Each of these elements plays a part in the grand cosmic dance that gives HH-797 its distinctive character. But here's where things get intriguing. The gas associated with HH-797 doesn't all move at the same speed. Some of it is red-shifted, moving away from us and some is blue-shifted, moving toward us. Initially, the gas associated with ADH-797 was found to be moving at different speeds, which was puzzling. But then, the JWS made a surprising discovery. It turns out that what was once thought to be a solitary star is, in fact, a binary star system. Now, what does that mean exactly in layman's terms? Instead of one, we've got two stars orbiting around each other, a celestial tango, if you will, now the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, unveiled this binary system by scrutinizing the infrared light emitted by excited molecules in the gas clouds of the herbig Haro Object 797, affectionately known as HH-797. This analysis revealed two parallel outflows, each with their own shocks, originating from two different stars. These outflows are like cosmic smoke signals, showing us that there are two separate stars at play here. Initially, the gas associated with HHH-797 was moving at different speeds. We had red-shifted gas, which was moving away from us, and blue-shifted gas moving towards us. 
At first, these velocity asymmetries were chalked up to rotation in the outflow. But as it turns out, the JWST had more to reveal. It wasn't just rotation, it was the presence of a second protostar. That's right, a second newly forming star. This explained the two different outflows and the velocity gradients we were seeing. What we thought was a solo performance turned out to be a duet. This discovery adds HH797 to the list of binary HH objects and gives us a deeper understanding of how binary star systems are formed. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, there's always more than meets the eye, especially when it comes to the vast and unending cosmos. So why does this matter, you might be asking? Well, the discovery of a binary star system in the HH797 is not just a fascinating spectacle. It's a significant contribution to our understanding of star formation, particularly in binary systems. This revelation expands our knowledge about the incredible complexity and diversity of the universe. It tells us that even in the most seemingly ordinary corners of the cosmos, things are not always as they seem. A single star can turn out to be a pair, each with its own outflow and shock, painting a more intricate picture of stellar birth than we previously imagined. Furthermore, this discovery has implications for our understanding of star-forming regions. The Herbig Haro objects, those luminous patches of nebulosity associated with young protostars, are common in these areas. They are formed by twin jets of ionized gas that generate shocks on the star's surface. By studying these objects, like HH797, we can observe the process of star formation in action. This discovery also provides a wealth of data for future research in the field of astronomy. The different speeds of the red-shifted and blue-shifted gas, for instance, give us clues about the dynamics of these systems. The presence of various molecules in the gas clouds can tell us about the conditions in which stars are born. Moreover, the discovery of a binary system in HH797 adds to our catalog of binary herbig harrow objects. This could be instrumental in future studies aimed at understanding the prevalence and characteristics of such systems in our galaxy. In the grand scheme of things, every piece of the puzzle counts. Every new discovery, every unexpected twist, every redefined perspective reshapes our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Every new discovery like this one about ADH 797 brings us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of our universe. So let's keep exploring, keep questioning and keep discovering. After all, who knows what the next surprise in the cosmos might be.